Also tomorrow, vaccine eligibility expands in Florida to include K through 12 school personnel, police, and firefighters 50 and older. But there's still a bit of confusion about the plan to start vaccinating medically compromised people under the age of 65. Hey, your size, Justin Shecker, joining us live at the new FEMA vaccination site. He has that story. Justin. Keith, with about an hour until the governor's executive order goes into effect, Floridians still want clarification how the state is defining extremely vulnerable. Oh, I am on month 13th of being inside my condo. A year ago, after the first cases of coronavirus in the U.S., Laura Unger says her doctors told her... When a vaccine came out, I was to immediately get it, no matter what it was, where it was. The 50-year-old from St. Pete has been diagnosed with lupus and other chronic autoimmune diseases. She says she hopes to become eligible for the vaccine on Wednesday with other extremely vulnerable Floridians. I think the rollout is absolutely horrific. There's absolutely zero organization. The executive order signed Monday by Governor DeSantis says that a doctor's determination shall include a statement that the patient meets the defined eligibility criteria established by a form prescribed by the Florida Department of Health. Right. That's the question I think everybody in my shoes is going to want answered is where is the form? This afternoon, I emailed the governor's office and the Florida Department of Health asking for a copy of that form or a list of criteria that makes someone under 65 eligible for the vaccine. Um, and I think think they're scrambling to get one done. Eight on your side still hasn't received the form. And a source from a Bay Area County Health Department says as of tonight, she hasn't seen it either. I reached out to you guys. You would get some answers and maybe, you know, provide some closure to me or some sort of relief that perhaps maybe in the next week or so I may get a vaccine. And this is an update. Right before we went on the air, I was able to finally obtain a copy of that form from the Florida Department of Health. Uh, now, this form still doesn't list uh, which underlying conditions uh, now make Floridians eligible. I can tell you other states like New York have published a list of those underlying conditions uh, that make folks there eligible for the vaccine. So we'll be sure to stay on top of this and find out exactly which conditions make under 65 Floridians eligible. Live tonight in Tampa, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.